as a creative expression of local Queens artists and some not so local as they showcase their art for you. We begin our series on the SQPA Annual Colors in Black Art Exhibit. For over 40 years, the Southern Queens Park Association, Inc., SQPA, has been engaged in the mission of broadening the education experience of the Southern Queens community at large. SQPA's 17th Annual Colors in Black Art Exhibit held its opening reception at Royal Wilkins Park Family Center. I'm one of the foundation members. I have been curating this show for the last seven years and I, I am also the chair for the for the for the committee nice. right so you know uh, we have like 400 people coming out every year we have like 90 artists participating in this show okay. uh, so it's really a big show and it's like it get bigger every year when you ask someone what do you think is he going or coming yeah. because they are not in the bushes yeah. they think he's coming from the bush so what this one, if he was coming from the bush, then he would have a bag with him, you know, yeah, carry out a little something, food. some food yeah. or something. Yeah. So, you know, that is grandpa. And a lot of people just love that painting, you know, because yeah, it, is, it, is. it represents the culture. And this is what we are trying to, to keep. When I retired in 2011, I decided to start quilting. I saw videotapes and YouTubes, and I decided I can do that. <laughs> I was going to write children's books, but I changed my mind when I saw people who had created beautiful works of art with fabric. It's like painting with fabric. I love colors. I love beauty. I had always been good with craft. I love crafts. And this was one way I learned how to sew through Girl Scouts, through Big Mama, you know, the days when we taught and your yes. grandmother passed on the skills to you. And I wanted to do something with my hands. Can I get a little sample, yes, brother? Sir. Yes, you can. All right, all right. So this is... Blue wine. Anthocyte then extracted and molecular gastronomy yeah. separation okay. of a Nebbiolo grape, which is a red grape, right? Always red. Yes. So what I was able to do was I was able to separate from the Nebbiolo grape okay. and transition from a natural base Chardonnay using Verdeco and Iran grapes. Okay. And I was able to transition that pigmentation, anthocyte then extraction, and bring it back into the Chardonnay. It's 100% natural, like I stated. All I pretty much did yeah. was keeping it simple for all the viewers. I just took the separation of a pigmentation of the grape, which is Nebbiolo, and transitioned it back into a natural Chardonnay harvest. So, cheers. Let me see what I'll go on. Let me, one minute, one minute. Mmm. It tastes like if I drink a lot of it, man, you get nice and tipsy. There you go, there you go. That's, that's, the, that's what I was going for. I've been doing this for a good three years now. Um, I was able to bring it over to the United States the 1st of January, so it's near the United States. But uh, yeah, definitely now just dealing with marketing and exposure. First black man in the world to ever construct this. Okay, mommy, first I want to know your name. My name is Rosa Brown from Tranquility. Where is Tranquility? In Buffy, Buffy Valley. And that's where, Jamaica? Yeah. I'm from Jamaica, but I never heard of it. You, you hear of Portland? Oh, Portland, okay. Yeah, I know Where's Portland. Portland we come from? Okay, mommy, okay. nice, nice. So you're here today, mommy. You see any art that you like so far? You like the art? Yeah, because that's my aunt up there. See her up there? Oh, it is? That white lady there. Oh, that's your real aunt? Yeah, of what? Yeah, we are family. Okay. Yeah. We're ready to leave. You ready, you ready? Uh -huh. But you just reached here, mommy. No, I'm here from a long time now. <laughs> All right, mommy. Well, I'm not going to be the one to hold you any longer. I'm going to let, I'm going to make the blame stay on them, not me. All right? Okay. So, mommy, take care and love. Okay. All right, mommy. Keep it locked. Mommy is from Jamaica, Portland. 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 Not Port Antonio. Portland. All right? So, Port Antonio is the capital. Is the capital. You see, that is true. All right. So, Port Antonio is the capital. Right. I'm living in the Buff Bay Valley. You hear about Buff Bay? I heard about it. Right, well, I'm living in the Buff Bay Valley. 
Okay. All right, Mummy. Very, very nice. We'll get a little history about Jamaica right here. So, thank you very much, Mummy. You don't get anything. When I get anything yet, so keep it locked. <laughs>